Well, we got a new member of the family. We had a we had a fruitful night at the Circus Circus last night, so we've got to transport them home somehow. So Larry here is gonna transport himself. Turn cats out here. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, that's good. You know I'm good, right? I think you should go up to the top. Let's go. Do you leap down with your bag? Trouble's coming for me. Death is at my doorway. Fear says I'm a parish bro, but that ain't what my lord say. He said I ain't guilty, though I still ain't had my court date. Taste it, and I'm sure yeah. don't even know it's just a four day. I don't know what they feeling. I don't know what they thinking. Bro, my soul's invincible like Mario when he blanket. Hey, hey, they see me full of joy like I don't know what he drinking. I was cleaning out my ears before I went to bed. And with a Q-tip, obviously. And I put it in my ear like I normally do and went to take it out like I normally do. But only the stick was left. <laughs> So, He's got an, a friend <laughs> riding around in there. I can't even see it. That's how far in her ear canal it is. <laughs> I <laughs> can't even see it with the light. So I mean, I'm gonna have to do this by feeling. This is probably a really good learning lesson to not do not a overly aggressively Q-tip your ears. <laughs> okay, tell me when you feel like I have touched it. I think I need you to like brace yourself against something okay. so that you can't move away. <laughs> <laughs> Doing surgery here with these giant. <laughs> we got some. Okay, I'm gonna have to customize these. Uh, my tweezers are too big, so now I'm gonna go out to the garage. We're gonna take this to next level, next level home medical care, and I'm gonna grind these off so that they're really thin, so that I can get the whole thing out. We'll be back. Okay, baby, you ready? I can't really tell you because it tickles so much that I can't really like speak or I'm gonna start laughing. I can see it now. Okay. So it's actually not what it's being Okay. <laughs> okay, we got it a little further out. Okay. Not all the way out because she's laughing so hard. We got it! We did it! So bad! Oh! Oh! That was in there! What in the world? Oh! Oh! Dr. Wise! Dr. Wise has succeeded. I've never been so relieved in my life. I bet. I've. What I can say confidently is that I feel like we really did get the whole thing. I was worried that we were gonna like pluck it apart and pull like pieces of it out. No, but we got the whole thing all. So nice work. Wait, for, wait to sit through that. <laughs> I got a treat in the mail. In this box, I believe, are the very first five official copies of the Very Bear and the Butterfly, which is our story, Alexander and I's story. Uh, illustrated by Harry Lau and published by Children Leading Children. Pretty dang excited. So we're gonna we're gonna crack this thing open and have a look. Very bear is a butterfly. There it is. Look at that, guys. The fly. What do you think, Malachi? Are they all different? It's all the same book. It's our book. Then why is there five of them? Because we want to give Nobody them more to people. Nobody else. So, <laughs> I want to read this one first. Oh, she's just going to walk away with it. Man, this, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm going to have this one. Nice. Oh, man. What a treat. This is so cool. That's real. Whoa, it's real. 
I can't believe it. That is so crazy. Dang, I got tears in my eyes. Don't get, don't zoom in too close. It's real. This is so cool. Whoa. Look at how good the drawings turned out, Lex. The detail's insane. Nice. I'm looking forward to a lifetime of adventure with you two. Love, Dad. There's the deers. There's and those, the deers. And this one's me and that one's Naomi. And this one's you and that one's Naomi. Yeah. yeah. Now that's me. That's my time. Okay. Because I'm the bigger one. Oh, you're bigger. But someday, are you going to be bigger than Sissy someday? Mm-hmm. She's going to be bigger than you. You think? Bigger than me? Yeah. What? Very Bear and the Butterfly, written by David Wise, illustrated by Harry Lau. But very Bear was a very big and very kind bear. He lived in a cozy den and had plenty of his favorite things to eat. Because he had more than enough, Very Bear was always generous. He shared his food with the hungry and opened his den to lost animals. He protected the small creatures when the big ones picked on them. Very Bear was a very good bear. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this latest episode where you got to see the first taste of my new book, Very Bear and the Butterfly. If you're interested, if you'd like to check out the book, uh, you can buy it direct from my website, mrdavidwise.com. You can also run over to the publisher's website, childrenleadingchildren.com. They have a bunch of other cool books um, available. Also, the e-version, if you want to put it on a tablet or some or a phone or whatever device, uh, is available on Amazon. So. Uh, check it out, and I appreciate you guys' support.